In 2003, what grew out of a meeting of South American ministers to deal with a measles outbreak gave rise to an initiative that has become a major celebration of health and Pan-Americanism, Vaccination Week in the Americas. This week serves to remind the national governments to search for those excluded populations, like boys and girls that live in impoverished communities, such as this one we are visiting today in Paraguay. We must also reach the border areas, where migration directly affects immunization coverage, and marginalized populations, some here in Paraguay, where indigenous and other vulnerable groups remain without coverage from any national health care programs. What better way to unify our two countries than by teaming up with the Pan American Health Organization and UNICEF in the vaccination with campaign? By doing this, we will strengthen a sector that has always been marginalized the Guarani people and the communities of the Chaco region in Argentina, Bolivia and Paraguay will never be forgotten again. Vaccination Week in the Americas starts here in the Chaco region in a unified and brotherly way because the policy changes we need to make will start with you. Esta es la séptima semana this is the seventh vaccination week in the Americas campaign. In all corners, in every community, there will be a reason to celebrate, to get together, to participate, to pay tribute to, and to enjoy the celebration of vaccination week. We must ensure that this benefit reaches everybody, people like you, families, communities, volunteers, boys and girls that will participate in the great celebration that is vaccination week. As we like to say, vaccination is an act of love. Vaccines continue to be one of the most important tools in public health. Vaccination Week in the Americas serves as a vehicle to combat preventable diseases such as polio, rubella and congenital rubella syndrome, measles, diphtheria, parotitis or mumps, whooping cough, tetanus and neonatal tetanus, Haemophilus influenza type B, yellow fever, and influenza. With the help of the work that has initiated and which has already begun in the entire region of Latin America, the Caribbean, and in the whole world, these diseases, with the help of mankind's intelligence, can be permanently defeated. Today, all the countries of the region, various partners and international agencies have signed onto this initiative, making it an integral part of their health agendas, achieving great results for their people. As the result of the growing emphasis on vaccination against rubella and congenital rubella syndrome for men and women of childbearing age, Many countries of the region have eliminated these disease. Adults are being vaccinated against seasonal influenza. Countries are also using Vaccination Week to integrate other preventative interventions with immunization, administering vitamin A, antiparasitics, rehydration salts, and folic acid, as well as performing eye exams and delivering sexual and nutritional education, among other activities. Vaccination is now viewed as a public good. Countries have transitioned from childhood vaccination to family immunization. New vaccines have been introduced, reaching other sectors and implementing primary health care strategies. Cross-border coordination has encouraged the development of permanent relations between health services, health authorities, leaders, and communities. To date, more than 270 million people have been vaccinated. 
Vaccination Week in the Americas is also focusing on the vaccination of health workers who are at risk for diseases such as hepatitis B, flu, measles and rubella, but maintain low vaccination coverage. The media and television and sports celebrities continue to support Vaccination Week by donating their time for public service announcements. Every child needs to be vaccinated, adults and seniors. Several countries print posters, stickers and announcements in indigenous languages. For the first time, Vaccination Week received the support of a country outside our region. France supported collaborative efforts in immunization between French Guyana and Suriname. The continued success of Vaccination Week in the Americas has served as a model to other regions of the world. Europe is already at its fourth Vaccination Week, and the Eastern Mediterranean region of the World Health Organization is preparing a pilot week in 2010. And once again, let me congratulate each and every one of you for being such a good uh, supporter, and please keep up with your good work. Make sure we maintain the high immunization coverage rate. Vaccination is a act of love.